Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This week we are working on trying to get some plants to propagate. So I have this really cute propagation test tube thing that is supposed to like hang on the wall, but I don't have a good spot to hang it on the wall, so I'm making a stand for it so it can sit on the table. <laughs> Alright, so first off, before I start doing any of that, I sanded all of the edges and sanded it down some because it was sitting a bit crooked. Yes, I know, it already is kind of crooked looking anyway, but I didn't bring out anything to properly measure it. Yes, I had a tape measure, but like a pencil, I didn't, I didn't measure anything particularly on purpose. It was kind of just a uh, rough idea because I really wanted to get this up and get these things all propagating right away. Um, so if and when this decides to start breaking down, I'll definitely redo it and I'll do it right this time. Um, but I'm, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out for a first try for just like a winging it through the whole thing. So now it's time to get all of these prepared I have some rosemary that I need to propagate, and I have this wandering Jew that is ready to be split and propagate, hopefully to save some of it if it decides to die on me. And then I have this asparagus fern over here that is really long and leggy, so I'm going to take some cuttings off of that and hopefully get that propagating. Um, All right, let's take cuttings from the rosemary first and then go from there. I am going, when I first picked up this plant, it did have some rootage happening on, I think it was this one, but I think the roots might be slightly, nope, they're still in good tact. All right, so we will take a cutting from right there. And any of these bits that I'm taking off that any of these sprigs? Focus. Focus. There. There we go. So any of these sprigs of rosemary, I can just throw it in the dehydrator to get dried rosemary to throw in like pizzas and stuff. So I'm going to take a few more cuttings. I'll probably try and get um, maybe two more out of here. And then I will throw, I will trim off all of the leaf matter around the stem at the bottom 
and then that will go into the water because if the leaf matter's in there, it's gonna start trying to rot. And we don't want that, we want rootage, not rot, so. This one, I wanna make sure that I get some sort of woody stem business or it is more likely to rot also. This one also has some rootage trying to happen right there. So hopefully we can encourage that. I'll probably, I will definitely end up trimming some of this off because it's going to be where it's trying to focus the energy that it's trying to suck up through the water. It's gonna try and continue growing up here. So we need to stop that and tell it to start making roots. So, all right, I have my four rosemary. Now I'm going to set that aside and we'll take off. This one has already started doing most of the job for me, so that's nice. So I'm just gonna finish pulling off leaf bits here. And then I'm gonna throw that in there, and that should start rooting. One down, three to go. Oh, the rosemary. Then we have others. All right, the rosemary is all finished. We have all four sprigs going in here. I trimmed up these two. These two I figure they'll be fine, at least for now. So let's move on to the pythos I have. These ones have been in water for a really long time and I haven't changed them out because of where they were. It was kind of hard to get to them. So I need to pull these out and see what I can salvage and put them in here so I can keep a closer eye on them. And this one, I'm probably gonna pull a few off of here to start as well. This one is a golden one. I think this one is just like a regular white one. So that is what we're going to work on next. It should be fun. I'm worried that these are going to be too damaged. These roots look sad. I mean, look at the water. Oh, water looks really sad too, so. Yay! Um, let's see. Probably should trim this one off really close up here to... Let's try about there. These are supposed to be really good at rooting and being okay, so... I'm hoping this one will be fine. We'll stick that in there and we'll see. And this one also, I think I'm gonna put this one there. Put that in there. I'm gonna try and keep them separate. That way I can see their individual roots happening and make sure that they themselves are doing okay and if one of them isn't doing well it's not going to infect the others so that'll make taking care of the individual ones easier well, that one's not doing too bad probably keep that one put that and put this one in here trim up the roots a bit so it can come and sit in here since this root is looking pretty good going put that there and drop that in here. Now I pulled this one out separately because it kind of fell out when I was moving some things around and this one's not looking too hot. So I might put another one in with that one. I know I just said that I wasn't going to do that, but I'm looking at this mess that I have and looking at all the other ones that I want to take care of. I might not have enough room for all of them, so I'm going to put a couple in there that I think will either do fine or both of them might not do fine. I might end up deciding to move them to move some of them back to a jar, but for right now, this is what we are doing. Okay, I don't really know what is happening here. I mean, it's looking pretty good. Just a couple of sad spots here, but... I'm really not sure what to make of this.
think maybe this is trying to be a leaf and this might try be trying to be a leaf too. I'm not really sure. I'll probably put this in its own separate jar just because I'm really not sure what's happening with this. And I kind of want to keep it by itself and see what's happening. So, set that one aside. It'll probably get put in a jar similar to this, just slightly less dirty. And this one, I don't think I'm going to bother keep it. I trimmed that one already. I need to keep my space clear. That looks better. Okay. Alright, this is a decent root system happening, I think. It's doubling up on itself. Probably because it couldn't get enough light and where it was sitting. I think that one will go in there. Make sure all the roots are sitting down. There. It's kind of cute how it loops back up on itself. One side. Now the next side. Okay. Oof. Yeah. That's a lot easier. This one's not doing too bad either, I think. As well. There. Now this is the last one. Alright, so I put that one, I put two in the same jar, in the same spot over here on the other side, so that didn't need to happen. It's one of those. You can come over here. And I'm probably gonna use, I'll uh, probably use two or three of these for the asparagus fern and one of these or two of them for this golden pythos. So, yeah. Okay. These roots are looking pretty good. So I will probably keep... Hmm. It. No, I'm going to cut it here. There. And that can sit in. Well, I should probably trim that off first. There. Now that should fit in pretty well as I'm fighting it in there. There. That works. Alright, and this one, I think. This should probably clean this up before I put it back in. So this will go in a test tube. And this will go back in the jar, but I should clean it up first. Or just get a new jar. Either way. Put that in there temporarily. Just temporarily. But. over there so we can see this. Look how long those are. Alright. These two spots are going to have asparagus fern in them. Not sure how well they'll do rooting, but we shall see. Once I can untangle this enough. Alright. I think going All right now turning back now, right? Yep. 
Yes, I know that's still pretty long, but this stem seems sturdier, so I want to keep that. And I'll probably keep that much. Yeah, that should be fine. We'll see. I think there's still some usable stem here, so I'll probably keep probably clean it up to probably about here and then I leave oh, probably this one so from that there and prune these off I forgot about the one drain too. Whoops. All right, I think, think I'll put that in with one of the asparagus ferns. One drain Jew roots pretty easily, so I'm not worried about that. And honestly, maybe it'll help the asparagus fern to root. You know, like it starts rooting and it starts changing the water or something. Not changing the water, but like putting enzymes or something in the water that encourage the asparagus fern to root. I don't know. I'm not a scientist. All right. All done. I have some stuff to clean up over here. And we got a mess to clean up there. And I'll probably, I should water this. These will need dumped into, I probably need to clean that. Look at all of that stuff in the bottom there. Yuck. But these I need to put in their homes. Some of these things should not stay in there. But yeah. That is going to do it for this week's video. Like the video if you like the video. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you next time.